Today's video is all about bees. Very simple, easy, adorable bee decor, all Dollar Tree products, budget friendly, very easy to do. So I hope you enjoy this video. So let's jump right in. Off a really easy DIY. I grabbed this pack from Dollar Tree chalkboard little tags and some wood beads from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. Uh, one's from Dollar Tree, one's from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using four tags, so I pulled them out of the plastic. Now I'm just going to remove the string that's at the top. I used Dollar Tree vinyl and I used my Cricut and I'm going to be applying down the vinyl the little bee. Now if you don't have a Cricut, don't worry, you can use Dollar Tree rub-ons or stickers or anything like that. So I'm just going to place down the bee. Such a simple DIY and it comes out so stinking cute for like a tiered tray. Now I'm going to be placing down the word it says honey. Dollar Tree vinyl doesn't really adhere very well and the Y was a little crooked so I was trying to fix it so what I'm going to do is just place down the word that says H-O-N-E and then apply the Y after. Try to get it as straight as possible. Looks pretty straight. Now I'm just going to place down the little honeycomb. And the last one's going to be Buzz. So I'm going to paint some of the beads with this black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. The rest are going to be a natural color. So I'm just going to put them in a little container and swish them around and place them on a little skewer stick and let them dry. Grab some jute twine from Dollar Tree and place some string right through the little hole at the top. I'm going to place um, some natural beads at the bottom and some black and then tie it off in a knot. place a knot at the top so this way you can't see it towards the back. Quick little shillies bow with a Dollar Tree yellow ribbon. And the ends and then I'm going to place it right at the middle at the top with some glue. And I decided to use um, another ribbon on top, a little tiny piece of the little black ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I thought that would look really cute on top. So I'm just gonna make our little tiny one. I think they're so cute. So now I'm gonna make the rest off camera and then I will show you what they all look like. And this is how they all turned out. I think they came out really adorable. All right, this one's going to be a buzz decor and I grabbed these cute little dice from Dollar Tree and the stencil from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take them out of the package because I'm going to be painting them in different colors. The colors I'm going to use is white, antique wax, yellow, and black. To hide the black dots on the white and yellow one, it took about four coats. So I'm painting this one with the antique wax and then the other two, one's going to be yellow and black, but I'm going to do that off camera. So now I'm going to grab the Dollar Tree stencil and the black paint and I'm going to use the little sponge from Dollar Tree. Now these stencils, they work great. The only thing is I find it's really hard to 
get it straight on the surface because it's really hard to tell if it is straight. Now I'm going to place down the Z and use the black paint on that one as well. The other two are going to be white. So my camera shut off at the end so I didn't get the ending. All I did was add some Dollar Tree little bees and some sunflower little flowers from Dollar Tree to the top and that's pretty much it and this came out really cute. This one's going to be a bee and flower sign. I grabbed this calendar from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using this calendar for this little sign. It's a hexagon sign. This is such a cute, simple idea. I'm just going to remove it. Then I'm going to take the backing of the sign and trace it and then place it inside the frame. I took the back of the sign and I just placed it right on top of the calendar and just going to use my pencil to trace it. So to attach the calendar, I'm just going to use my glue stick. I noticed Dollar Tree did not come out with any calendars this year. It's strange because every year they come out with calendars. Now I'm just going to place the backing right back onto the frame. I'm going to be using Dollar Tree ribbon to make a quick little easy bow and I'm going to tie it off with some jute twine, cut the ends, and then place it in the corner of the sign. I'm also going to be using a Dollar Tree little yellow uh, flower. I took the tip off and just pull it from the stem and just going to place it right in the middle of the bow. I also wanted to add a little bee so I'm going to grab the Dollar Tree bees and I'm going to place one at the top right corner of the sign and look how cute this sign came out. And this is the end results. For this DIY, we're going to turn these cute little birdhouses into some bee houses. I grabbed this burlap from Hobby Lobby, and these bees are from Dollar Tree, and the sunflowers are from Dollar Tree, and the other bees are from Hobby Lobby, and these are a mixture from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the bottom bases and the top trim in black chalkboard paint. Remove the bird perches so it left a hole, so I'm grabbing some spackle and just going to fill the holes with the spackle. Once the spackle dried, I just sanded it down. Now I'm just going to grab some yellow paint and I'm going to paint the remaining part of the birdhouse. To cover the holes, I'm grabbing some black poster board from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a circle out, trace it with the bottom part of the little paint. So that's why I got a nice even circle. And then once I cut them out, I'm going to place them right in front. Next, I'm going to grab the burlap fabric and place it right over the top of the birdhouses and place it down with some hot glue. So once I place it over the top, just get an idea where I need to cut it. And then I'm going to place it down with some hot glue. Now 
Now I'm just going to cut the remaining part of the burlap that's hanging over the birdhouse. Now I'm going to take that little poster board circle and just hot glue it to the front of the birdhouse. Now I'm just going to glue the Dollar Tree rope right around that little black circle. Um, the Dollar Tree rope does come apart at the ends if you don't glue them. I'm going to grab one of those Dollar Tree bees and place it right near the rope and the little black circle. Now I'm going to grab one of those little sunflowers and I'm going to place it right on top of the birdhouse. Now I'm going to grab one of those Hobby Lobby bees and I'm going to place it right in front. I did the other house off camera and I think these came out so stinking cute and this is how they turned out. All right, moving on, we're gonna make a bee fence with a Dollar Tree fence. I was gonna use these, but I decided they're too big. And the decal from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. I'm gonna start off by painting the fence with some white and yellow lines. So I'm placing down some tape. I'm going to start off by using this yellow daffodil paint and then I'm going to go right into the snow white paint. I'm using these little fences from Dollar Tree. There's so many things you can do with them. You can make like flower pots, signs, anything. I just love them. So here I'm just adding some white between the yellow lines and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to grab that bead decal. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut the B word out as close as I can and I'm going to place that down on the fence. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out that little B and place that on the fence as well. I hope you're enjoying this video so far and if you are, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate that so much. I think this sign is so adorable once I finish it. You'll see, um, so easy and I just love using Dollar Tree products to see what I could come up with. Now I'm just going to cut out the word that says happy. I'm going to place that right at the bottom of the fence and look how cute it's starting to look. So I made a quick bow out of Dollar Tree. That's a bee ribbon, it's really cute. And I just tied it off with some jute twine and just gonna hot glue it to the corner of the fence. So I'm grabbing one of Dollar Tree's little bees. I'm gonna place it right between that bow at the top. And then I'm gonna take one of those small sunflowers and just hot glue it to the top. And that is it. And look how stinking cute this came out, guys. I love it. Okay, this is the last DIY and it's my favorite by far. Grab this from Dollar Tree and a stick from outside. Some of these leaves from fall time and this was a table mat from Dollar Tree that I used before. And I'm gonna be using some ribbon and jute twine. These are the colors I'm gonna be using today. I will link everything I use today in my DIYs in my description box. Start off by painting the beehive with the yellow paint first.
So for the middle part of the bee, I'm just going to use the black chalkboard paint, and then for his wings, I'm going to use the dark gray. So I'm using the dark gray on the wings, and I think it looks better this way than paint it totally all black. So I want to create some yellow lines on the bee, so I'm grabbing this little oval wood piece and I'm just going to use the yellow paint to create some lines. I really like the way this one came out, but I do like everything I made today. Um, I'm not really a bee person, or don't like bees at all, <laughs> but these DIYs really, I think, came out adorable. So I'm just dry brushing some white on the wings because it looks just too flat to me, and I think it looks better this way. So now I'm going to grab that mat and I'm going to hot glue the beehive right on top of it. Although it's not enough, I'm just going to piece it together because you can't see it once it's behind it. So that piece, I'm just going to place some glue on there and just tuck it underneath. Now I'm just going to go around with my scissors and cut everything that's hanging over the edges. Now I'm just painting those leaves with the moss color, just one quick coat. So I want the beehive to hang from the tree branch, I grab some jute twine and just wrapped it a few times and then I'm going to hot glue the jute twine to the back of the beehive. Now I'm going to grab those two leaves that I painted and hot glue them on each end of the branch. To top off this cute DIY, I grabbed Dollar Tree ribbon and I just made a quick little shoelace bow and I'm just going to hot glue it to the branch and that is it. This came out so cute. I love this one. I hope you guys love it too. This is how it turned out. Thank you for joining me today and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time guys I will see you. Take care. Bye bye.